Welcome to the Fancy Thinker. I'm Jared Cordemange, and today I have uh, decided to take a stab at the mid-year freakout tag for the, um, you know, the that's going around here, the books that I'm reading and stuff. And so there's a list of questions here, a list of 13 questions that I'll put uh, I'll put down below. And um, so let's get started. Uh, first, cheers. Nice little Belgian white. I like that beer. Um, that's a little ode to my beginning days in the channel here when I just uh, first started. Um, so, question number one. Best book you've read so far in 2023? That would be a tough, tough choice. <laughs> uh, I've read... Um, it's a toss up between three books right now. Uh, one is the killing God by Stephen Donaldson. The, uh, wrap up to his series, the great God's war. That was book three out of three. <sighs> I love that book so much. Um, that was, that was a great series, a great book. Um, I have a review for that. So check it out if you get a chance. Uh, another choice would be, the Wars of Light and Shadow, Book One, the Curse of the Mystery by J.D. Wertz. I love that book too. So that's a good choice. And that got me into a great series that I'm enjoying immensely. Um, and another choice would be Stoner by John Williams. I really like that book as well. So that was a um, that's a third choice for me. And I have did a review on that. And I did a review on the Curse of the Mystery as well. So check out all those reviews. And maybe you can tell me which one I like the best. <laughs> but um, if I had to choose right now, put a gun to my head. <sighs> I'm going to go with The Killing God because it really polished off that series beautifully. Um, so, yeah, tough choice. All right. Best sequel you've read so far in 2023. Um, I saw that a lot of people meant to took that as the second book in a series. Um, so I'm going to do that too. And I'm going to choose Ships of Merior, the second book in the Wars of Light and Shadow by Janie Wirtz. Uh, like I said, I'm really enjoying that. I'm going to read along with the Page Chewing crew on pagechewing.com with that uh with that book and I, I'm really uh, loving that as well. So it's a great series. Start it now if you can. Um, maybe you can catch up to my read along and read along with me. Uh, so number three, uh, new release you haven't read yet but want to. That would be the book that wouldn't burn, right? That's what it's called. Yeah, the book that wouldn't burn by Mark Lawrence. I saw a couple reviews on this book. Um, on booktube uh philip chase and um and somebody else too but i uh i really like what i heard from from the reviews i really like what seems to be the premise of this book so that is one i haven't read yet uh a new release and uh i'm gonna get to that soon um most anticipated release for the second half of the year i Honestly, I don't really pay attention that much to um, what's coming. I don't like to get, I don't pay attention to news that much as far as what's coming up and what's going to be released. I do know that the second book in the Sundered Earth trilogy called Bold Ascension, I think it's Sundered Earth, yeah, uh, by um, Vaughn Roycroft is coming up. Uh, so I that's my most anticipated release because... Uh, I've talked to Vaughn online. He's a great guy. And uh, I can't wait for that one. Um, so Bold Ascension is what I'm uh, looking forward to. The sequel to The Severing Sun. Um, biggest disappointment this year. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be news to a lot of people. But um, so far, my biggest disappointment uh, has been what I'm reading right now. I'm almost done. And that would be The Forever War by Joel Heldman. Um, I will get into that later on. But um, it, that, it's a, it's a sci-fi classic back from 1974. And uh, it's dated. Um, 
but it's also there was also a bunch of other stuff that I that I wasn't I was looking forward to that and um now I'm kind of like eh, it's all right. All right. Uh biggest surprise of this year was The Severing Sun by Vaughn Roycroft. I I was uh wasn't expecting much from that book and it took me by surprise i liked it a lot it's one of the first reviews i did on the channel second one actually um but in very early review i did in the channel and uh i liked i really liked that book a lot and that's the big my biggest surprise um so go check out that review as well uh favorite new author um new to me and that would be Janie words because uh, as I've said, I'm doing read along of the Wars of Light and Shadow with the Page Chewing Crew, and um, she is my favorite new author. Um, I love her style. I love her writer style. I, I love the uh, it's highly intelligent writing. It's 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 mm, very good. All right, uh, newest fictional crush. Um, well, I told you that my favorite book of the year, if you put a gun to my head, is The Killing God. Uh, the character in that book, Queen Esty, um, she is a character that is my, would be my fictional crush if, uh, I guess it, it, her character goes through, overcomes adversity, you know, it, I don't know, it, it, she, I'm not sure how to describe it without talking about the book itself and what everything that goes on but um but she really uh she, she really came through for me as a a strong female character that was written very well in that um really uh takes your breath away i guess <laughs> uh let's see newest favorite character and that would be arathon from the wars of light and shadow he is a a great character a shadow sorcerer who's supposed to be um you know shadowy but he's a really great character and uh done very well and he's uh he's my new favorite character now um books that made me cry and one book that made me cry was the gallant the gallant gallant yeah, uh, by Janie Wirtz. That was a novella that's written as kind of a prequel to The Wars of Light and Shadow, like 500 years before it. And there was a scene in there. I uh, I think it was around chapter seven or so. I'm not sure, though. I'll have to look back. But there was a scene in there that, yeah, uh, it's right there. Uh, the T is well up. Yeah, it's there. All right, uh, number 11, the book that made you happy. Um, that question kind of throws me for a loop because if you really, really enjoy a book, doesn't that make you happy? I've enjoyed a lot of books this year, so yeah. Um, but if you mean happy and laugh out loud, um, well... Steven Erickson does that for me a lot. Reaper's Gale, I just finished this. <laughs> to Hole and Bug. Uh, their commentary makes me laugh. So that makes me happy, I guess. Um, plus, that's an awesome book. So that made me happy. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, most beautiful book you bought so far this year or received. Ah, that's right back there. I just got this for Father's Day. It's... um. The Barnes and Noble version of Frank Herbert's Dune. So I uh, really like that. It's pretty cool. Sandworms on the back. It's got the uh, you know the colored outside there, and it's got the bookmark. And it's uh, yeah. So that's that's what I uh, got. So that was pretty cool, huh? And finally, number thirteen. What books do you need to read by the end of the year all of them okay uh, i guess uh yeah uh yeah i mean all the ones that i well the book that wouldn't burn i gotta read that um i actually want to read sam and rush dies the satanic verses my brother loaned me that so i want to read that one i want to read um uh, the Prophet of Adan. 
by Philip Chase. I want to read uh, Bold Ascension by Von Roycroft. I want to read, um, let's see. And I'm going to read more Mal's and stuff. Um, so I I guess I, I don't understand the, uh, I guess the spirit of the questions there. Because uh, I can't ever not read something. I always need to read. So whatever books I'm going to read is what I need to read. <laughs> so uh, that's, you know, maybe that's a cop-out answer. I'm not sure. But that is the mid-year freak-out tag. Um, so I hope you like those answers. It's kind of fun looking at these questions and trying to figure out exactly what you're going to throw in there. And, uh, you know, I was actually surprised I had as much many answers as I as I actually did. So uh, that was kind of fun. Thank you for watching. Be good to each other. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.